The story of Witt goes back over 100 years when the idea of a university on the Witt-Waltersrand was nurtured through a spirited fundraising campaign in 1917. Within a few decades of its establishment in 1922, Witt had become one of the foremost universities on the African continent, producing skilled graduates who advanced their communities, South Africa and the world. Witt was envisaged as an open university that would know no distinctions of class, wealth, race or creed, a democratic university offering higher education to young men and women who would otherwise be unable to afford it. This proud tradition continues to this day with the majority of its 40,000 students being the first in their family to attend university. The extraordinary talent of Witt's academics and researchers has built Witt's reputation as one of the most prestigious global institutions of its kind. Since its inception, over 200,000 Witt's have graduated from the university. Alumni with an edge who continue to change our world in business, in finance, in medicine, in industry and in the arts for the good of all. Witt's acknowledges our alumni over the ages, from international celebrities to unsung heroes and heroines. The university is proud of all its graduates and also honors those who have shaped our world. You may know a young man who not long ago slept in the library, raised his orphaned nieces, taught himself code and graduated as a geologist, whose technological breakthrough in seismic technology will change the lives of South African mine workers in our deepest underground spaces. You may have read of the youngest women ever to design the Serpentine Pavilion in London, one of Britain's most prestigious buildings. You may not be surprised to hear that they're all Witsies, leaders of their own architectural firm based in Johannesburg. Against the odds, you may have immigrated as a medical graduate at the top of your class and now you're giving back to your homeland, investing billions to catalyze South African technological developments that will help in the fight against coronavirus and cancer. You've surely heard of the Daung child, Australopithecus sediba, and Homo naledi, and the academics who've challenged the timeline of humanity. Their contribution lives on in their discoveries, and their names are carved into the very bedrock of our institution. Their legacy, ours and yours. You may be aware of a few determined young women who walked kilometers to school each day, rising from the margins to establish their own place in the world giving opportunities to the next generation through their expertise and generosity. You may not have heard of them yet, but you will. Tough childhood, hard work and the vet's edge. You may have danced all night as a first-year anthropology student at the Free People's Concert and birthed the first truly diverse band in the land, who went on to global fame, whose music lives on forever, whose creativity and curiosity, pride and passion were forged at VITS. You may only have been at university for a fraction of these 100 years, but you are part of our history and VITS is part of yours. Our success is your success. Our story is your story. From the moment you arrived on campus, you began to leave your mark. As surely as the pillars of the Great Hall support its overarching gable, your generosity in contributing to the future of the university keeps us moving forwards with confidence and hope. You are all part of our legacy with many exciting journeys and stories still to come. You can ensure that our legacy will live on for future generations, doing good for the next 100 years and beyond.